guys welcome back to another video it is very late it is about 8 50 so you guys won't see this video until sunday it takes me about an hour or so to edit so i'm just going to tell you some things that i've been doing in my hair care how my hair is doing um first i forgot to demonstrate what i do before i get my relaxer so i use a conditioner which is the garnier fructis the length and strength <clears throat> yes, I found this on Amazon. They do not have it in the store. So if you want to purchase this, if you have access to Amazon, this costs, it was two in the pack for $7.95. Now, when I first started to find, when I found the powder product, the 13th floor ounce, because that's what this is, 13th floor ounce, girl, they wanted 20, 22, 23 dollars for, for the 13 ounce and only one. I said, no, I'm not buying that. So, I haven't. So I just been checking it and it came across the board again and it had two in the pack for $7.95. I bought two of them. So I'm back to using the Garnier Fruit Tea Strength and um, the strength, the length and strength. I used to use this years ago. Then after they discontinued, I went to Triple Nutrition, the yellow packaging, and then the Grow Strong in the like uh like a turquoise packaging. I use that, but there's nothing nothing under the sun when it comes to this right here if you're looking for something to strengthen your hair to grow your hair if your hair is hard to grow i would say you could probably use something like this okay for those of you who were using this if you have access to amazon here you go all right and i just put that on the ends of my hair to protect my hair from the um conditioner i mean from the um relaxer and then i just follow up with this it's just like a moisture and seal that's basically what i did okay i'll try to keep that in mind when i get my next relaxer in june okay i truly apologize about that because i did mention that i was going to do that now something different that i was doing in my hair care just added it to it I started back to using the olive oil now when I first used the olive oil this was my first oil okay and but it left my hair a little heavy it weighted down after three days I had to go and wash my hair so I used two ounces of the oil with five ounces of the grapeseed oil and that's what's in here right now okay so I have this in this bottle right now okay and it works in it's not leaving my hair way down and I love it okay something um, new that I picked up from the blue magic line and that is the blue magic with the argan oil they do have two of them the other argan oil I think it was red strip across it I think it had hemp in it or something I didn't want that because I already used the one with the um, Japanese green tea leaves so I didn't I didn't need two with the little things in it okay I already have one so this one is a cream, it says a leave-in cream, and it helps to restore your, um, your moisture balance, and it looks like this. It's a cream, okay? It's a cream. Um, this would be great for moisture, and then you get an oil to seal it. I have tried it once throughout my scalp and on my hair, and it kept my hair soft for the whole entire week, even when I was stretching, so... It kept my hair really soft, all right? This is what I was using. This was my first Blue Magic grease that I picked up. I was using Elizabeth grease, then I bought my own. I've been using this a little over a year. And you know, a lot of people say, um, don't use grease on relaxed hair. Um, it'll clog your pores. It will take your hair out. It will break your hair off. Um, that hasn't happened to me. To be frank, I believe this had some part in helping to grow my hair with me taking care of it. My new growth, when it comes in, it comes in full force and it's very thick. And I get like two, two and a half inches of new growth. I really do. Because when I get 15 weeks post, Lord knows, I really, wanna, I really want to relax my hair. But I'm just going to stretch it out. I can't go 19 weeks. I don't know if I can go past 19 weeks. I've never had, but I did do 19 weeks once, and that's because my daughter had to work. So I ended up doing it that next week, and I was 19 weeks. But my hair wasn't straight or anything like that. So, But this right here, it really has been helping my hair, and I, I love it. And it looks like this. I think I showed you guys this before, right? Have I showed you this before? But, yeah. So I did a trim on the 10th of January, okay? If your hair growing even, you don't have to keep cutting it to get it even. Otherwise, you won't have any hair, okay? Trim your hair when needed. 
That's it. I do a dusting a few times out the year. I do a trim twice a year if I need it. Sometimes one time out the year. But if you keep your, your, your ends moisturized and sealed, if you keep it moisturized, then you won't have problems with a lot of split ends or dryness, okay? All right? So this is my hair. What I've been, I'll show y'all my hair. And it really has grown. It really has grown. Can y'all see? You see that? My hair has grown, hasn't it? Hasn't it? I'm proud of myself. And this is the back. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's basically it, guys. I haven't been doing too much. The only thing that is new is this. The only thing that I have added it's just another thing of oil, which is two ounces, and that pretty much works for me. It really, really does, okay? So if you have any questions, guys, leave me some comments down here below. I'm, I'm a little sleepy. I'm going to wash up and then wrap my hair, then I'm going to bed, get ready for services in the morning. But you will see this video sometime Sunday, okay? So everyone have a good evening and a good night, and if it's the Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. Thank you guys ever so kindly for watching me. God bless you.